Hey! Hey y'all, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel, Leah's Lane, and I'm here today with a video. As you can tell by the title, it's about swim caps, and we're gonna get into it. First things first, first things first, I just need everyone to know. A swim cap is not meant to keep your hair dry. It's not gonna do it. If you honestly think and have been told that the reason that you're putting on this swim cap is to keep your hair dry, they're not telling you the truth. A swim cap is meant to keep your hair out of the way when you swim. That is the purpose of it. It's to make you go faster. For all my athletes, all my swimmers out there, it's just meant to keep your hair out of the way so you can go faster. I have not even seen a wonderful person, so I'm going to say, come out of the water and their hair's dry. I have never came out of the water and my hair's dry. It's going to be wet in some kind of way. It's going to be wet. I have tried everything under the sun since I was literally five if not even before that like i have tried everything i have tried the shower cap the head scarves i've even tried a do rag under my swim cap like it doesn't work it doesn't work um the best thing i could say is to try to get your hair as least wet as possible but even if it's just your edges getting wet it's still to me it's still a part of your hair like if my edge is looking crazy and the center looks good, like that's gonna bother me. That doesn't look good to me. My hair doesn't look put together. And me, I had practice every morning in high school. So I would go to class looking crazy some days. The best thing that I suggest for any person who's training on a swim team, just even taking swimming lessons, is to find a hairstyle that even when it's wet, it still looks good because growing up my mom tried to do the whole pigtails because she wanted me to look cute when i go to school as soon as i went to swim practice it was done it was over we were gonna do the whole process again and nobody's mom wants to do that i know my mom didn't and i surely didn't know what i was doing with my hair at that age so i always had my natural hair braided i'll insert some pictures here um I had them for a long time. I probably tried every single style. And then when I got older and I got into high school, I didn't like it. And I got made fun of for it <laughs> because I still look like I was in middle school. I was a high schooler who still looked like they were in middle school. And it just, I had outgrown it a long time ago, but we were still going with it because I knew that I still had to swim. Um, after that, I got extensions. So I had goddess braids. I had some even smaller braids. The best hairstyle that I probably, well, I'm gonna, it's not even probably the best hairstyle that I had was a subway. It worked every time, especially if it's a curl, like if it's like this and it's like straight hair, you just curl it, it's not gonna look good wet and you're not gonna have time after practice if you're in high school to do it. Um, I always go with a curlier pattern, something that when you get it wet, it just, it still looks good. It still looks cute. It's just like, oh, it's just wet. And it gives you that like wet look. But that's what I say. Uh, so in, um, don't, when you get out of the water, don't wear a hat or anything on your head for long periods of time. Because your braids underneath will, are they're still wet. Even if the hair on the outside isn't, it's still wet. So if you put a hat or something on it and your hair is wet and you just leave it and the water just sitting there, your hair underneath is going to be nasty. It's going to smell. It's going to be disgusting. Don't do that. Just let it breathe. Just, you know, wear the hair out wet and it'll be just fine. Just fine. Um, particular swim caps that I like that I like to wear growing up in high school. I always like wearing a silicone cap. Um, it has some grip material on the inside like I know it's really slick on the outside but it has some grip and it's thicker and it doesn't pull your hair as much I don't have a latex ca latex cap on me but a latex cap you know because it's thin 
and when you put it on it's literally like grabbing your edges and everything all your, your kitchen in the back you know what i'm saying we all got a little kitchen uh it's grabbing everything and it it rips easy i don't like using them the only reason i wear latex caps was because it was required by my high school team and it had my name on it and i had to wear it so that was the only reason but i honestly prefer silicone caps another thing with swim caps i know every girl tries to protect their hair they try to put conditioner um the ion has a spray that you can spray in your hair before you get in the water and it's supposed to help with changing your hair green or just chlorine sitting in your hair period which is all great like they're great things you could do to try to protect your hair but you have to be careful because it can also make your cap slide more and that's going to be a problem when you're swimming if it's constantly sliding back sliding off and then your whole cap falls off in the water in the middle of a race what are you going to do with that nothing <laughs> it's not gonna be good and you're gonna be like damn and all your hair is gonna be everywhere and your hair is really going to be wet and you're really going to be upset so just be careful i'm not saying don't use any products i'm not saying take care of your hair i'll probably i will talk more in another video about how i keep my hair up with swimming and water polo and taking a full well not taking but having a full schedule in high school I will go into all of that and what I did. I'll put pictures of what my natural hair looks like. This isn't my natural hair if you didn't know, but you know, we're gonna give it away. Uh, but I'll post pictures of my natural hair, how I maintained it, how I kept it moisturized in another video. But the main thing uh, for this video is when you get a swim cap, just know it is not going to keep your hair as dry as you want it to be. You could put 15 million things on your hair and something's going to slide off with being a competitive swimmer. As soon as you dive in, something, some, flip turn, anything, something's going to slide off and you're not going to be able to maintain it. Now, if you're just taking swimming lessons or something small, then it may work. But I'm specifically talking to my, you know, high school swim team, water polo, club swimmers. I'm talking to you. I'm telling you. I've tried it. I've I've tried anything you can think of. But just know. I told you the truth about swim caps. You could say, oh, you need to go look on YouTube and look at Leah's lane and listen to Leah. Because Leah tell her the truth. Everybody else lying. But she gonna tell you the truth. That's what you need to do but yeah i really hope every all of you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll be back soon